I tested more than 150 materials. The average tensile strength for the PLA and ABS looks like this. The layer treasure very similar. Unfortunately, the temperature resistance C is something like this. But do you know that after annealing of the PLA, the graph may be changed to this? But there is a small problem and maybe a solution for this. Welcome back. If you follow my channel, then probably you know that PLA is actually a very strong material, but it has one very big weak point, and there's a temperature resistance C. On 50-55 degrees Celsius, it will start to deform. This means if you print something for your car, on hot summer day, it will deform in less than one hour. Now with annealing, we can help with this, and the temperature resistance C may go up far above 100 degrees Celsius. In some testing, even up to 150 degrees Celsius. But what is the problem? The problem is that it will deform and shrink during this process and basically if you need any kind of dimensional accuracy it will be useless. Now there are some PLA filaments specially designed for this annealing, for example Azorfilm PLA Prime and I already tested it, uh, yes it is much better, shrinks very minimally but the warping is still there. And I was thinking what about carbon fiber PLA filaments? With the technical materials, polycarbonate, nylon, the carbon fiber always helps with this, we will have less shrinking and less warping, so maybe it will help to prevent the warping during annealing process of the PLA. Now, so far most of the PLA filaments reinforced with these carbon fibers have very weak layer adhesion, but recently I tested some filaments with quite good strength along the Z-axis, and basically these are Tinmori, Bamboo Lab and Isan. And in this video I will try to anneal these filaments, only two, this is a Tinmori and this is Bambolet both PLA filaments reinforced with carbon fibers. In this video I will use so-called lazy annealing method. I have a separate video about it. This means after the printing I will set the bed temperature to 100 degrees Celsius, I will cover the test objects with some plate and wait maybe one or two hours and after this they will slowly cool down together with the printer. Now, two most important experiments in this video, but besides the dimensional accuracy and shrinking, are the temperature test and the layer adhesion test. The temperature test already explained why. Now, the layer adhesion is important because uh, if we have some even micro warping, in that case we may have some uh, delamination, and you know the layer adhesion is weak like a uh, weakest link in the chain, and I hope in this case it will not be much weaker compared to the reference material. These are my test objects. Most of them are solid inside, but for the layer adhesion, I will have a version with the two walls and 30% infill. Timori, this will be the reference material. And this glue will be annealed. Bed temperature set to 100 degrees Celsius. Actually on Exxon Carbon we have the option drying the filament, but the problem is that I cannot set higher temperatures than 90 degrees Celsius, pity because I could set it 2 hours and it will turn off automatically. In this case I have to turn it off myself after 2 hours. And the objects will cool down together with the printer. Mm, good morning, let's see the result. Okay, looks nice. Ah, and they are completely removed from the bed. Mm, some extremely minimal warping I can see on this test object. This is one of the criticals. But this one is completely straight. And this is Bambolet PLACF. A group for the annealing. And same situation, 100 degrees Celsius. After 2 hours the bed heating is turned off and it will cool down together with the printer. They cool down overnight. Mm, promising. Yes, they are removed from the bed. But look at this, no deformation. These are two critical objects. And these are also marked with letter A. And I can start the mechanical testing. About the shrinking, in the video we include only just one measuring, this is 80 mm design length, 80.03 and after annealing, 79.59, this is approximately half percentage of the shrinking which is very similar to ABS material, let's see the bamboo lab, regular, 
79.93 and the annealed version 79.69. Interesting, we have less shrinking with this uh, Bamboo Lab PLSCF. And now off camera, I will measure the length of these test objects in X, Y, and Z direction. In X and Y direction, we have approximately 0.6 percentage of the shrinking, which is similar to the ABS without annealing, of course. In Z direction, I experience even some expanding. So as you can see, there is some shrinking with these annealed materials, but what is more important for me that there is no deformation or warping during this process. The tests are tests with horizontally printed objects. This is Tidmarie reference. And now the annealed version. Bamboo Lab reference material. And Bamboo Lab annealed version. But in this case, the annealed versions are slightly stronger, but the difference is not big. The layer adhesion tests vertical imprinted test objects. This is Tim Mori reference. And now the annealed version. These are small test objects, 4x4 millimeters in small cross section area. And now Bamboo Lab reference material. And Bamboo Lab annealed. Basically the conclusion here that there is no difference between annealed and reference material. And another layer adhesion test, uh, 10 by 10 mm is a small extension area with 2 walls and 20% infill. This is Tim Murray annealed version. And our Bamboo Lab reference material. And Bamboo Lab annealed versions. Even if I can see some improvements here, but basically there is no significant difference between these two printing methods. Hook test Tim Mori side by side to post processing methods, no difference between them, and now Bamboo Lab. And again the difference is very minimal. <laughs> and I have to clean up this mess. And now the eyes at impact test and I want to use the, this machine instead of my DIY. Probably I cannot really measure any bigger difference between these uh, materials, but actually in this case I was more curious about uh, warping of these test objects, but as you can see they are perfectly straight. That's the only reason why I printed them, not to see any difference. Probably these are very brittle materials and there will be no measurable difference, but let's do the measuring. Timori reference, Timori annealed. Hmm, tougher. 135 and a half. Bamboo Lab reference. Bamboo Lab annealed. 137. Tougher slightly. Interesting, there was a measurable difference between these two post processing methods. Here you can see the table in joules. After annealing, they became tougher materials. The difference is not big and hardly measurable, but it's there. And now let's do the bending test, but here again the similar situation. I was more curious about warping of these test objects. The measuring is very simple. I will just place this 5 kg load and I will measure the deformation after exactly 30 seconds. Timor is side by side. I'm placing the load now. And after 30 seconds I can see less deformation on annealed version. Bamboo Lab again placing the load. And same situation, less deformation on an version. The temperature test in the oven, the most important experiment in this video, because this may be the only reason why do you want to anneal the PLA. This is a speed up time lapse video, and the regular version started with deformation at around 55 degrees Celsius, which is typical for non annealed PLA. Even if carbon fibers helps with this, but this is quite low temperature. And the annealed version, they started to deform at approximately 140 degrees Celsius, which is significantly different. I will stop the experiment now because I want to see how hard they are. All four materials are quite soft now, but interesting to see how big is the difference between the deformation. So can we anneal carbon fiber PLA? Well, yes, but of course we have to find one with a decent layer adhesion. Usually this is the weak point of these materials. That's why I checked uh, my summary table from Patreon supporters, you know, with my earlier experiments to see which is worth of the annealing. 
and uh, after this of course uh, don't expect big changes in mechanical properties but I'm quite happy with mechanical properties of the PL already there is some shrinking mostly in X and Y direction but the shrinking is approximately like uh, size of the ABS shrinking without annealing of course but what is more important that there is no warping and deformation during this annealing process and of course the most important and the only reason why I want to anneal the PLA is the temperature resistance which will be significantly improved. This was my experience with annealing of the PLA. Big thanks to all of you who is watching this video because usually my videos are not really recommended so I highly suggest you to subscribe and enable that notification bell button too. Of course my main motivations are my Patreon supporters so big thanks to them and that's independent from number of the views but I'm always sad when I see that this kind of big work will stack on I know five or six thousand views. Anyway, thank you for watching this video again and I wish you happy printing.